Well, thank you, Rekha, for coming in and having a chat with me about accreditation Pleasure. as a teacher. So, can you tell me a bit about what, you know, your position uh, as a student, nearly finishing, etc. Um, how much more have you got to do? Um, I've got two subjects left to do on the graduate diploma level, which I'm currently enrolled in and almost completed. And you'll finish those this, this semester? This semester. Fantastic. And then what, what are your plans? Uh, my plans are to hopefully casual teach. From um, next year? Um, if I can get any work this term, then oh. that would be fantastic. But right. definitely from next year. And hopefully be in a position somewhere where I get offered something yeah. a bit more permanent. Fantastic. And I've got one subject that to do on a master's level. Right. That's the secondary research component. Yeah. And my plan is to have that kind of floating in the background. Yeah. If I'm working, it'll float a bit more. Yeah. And if I'm not working, then I'll... Just get the process and yeah. complete it quicker. Good. So tell us what you did in terms of getting your provisional accreditation. That, that's what you've got. Yeah, that's it? what I've got, your yeah, provisional so accreditation, yeah. Talk me through the process. Uh, the first thing you need is you're working with Children Check, yeah. um, which is you apply for that online and you then need to go to the, it's not RTA anymore, I think it's the RMB, the Roads and Traffic Authority people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've changed their name. Yeah, they've changed their name. <laughs> So you basically got to go to them and show your documentation to them and they like your license and a couple other supporting pieces yeah. of information. Now did you go for the free one or the paid one? I initially did the free one and that was um, New South Wales Teachers Institute accepted that one right. and so do the Teachers um, Institute Department. Yeah. But in terms of actually processing your application they're required to be a paid so your application for teaching through the Department of Education in state schools. Yeah, in state schools, they require you working with children check to be the paid employees. Okay, so it's, it is free, but it isn't. Virtually no. If you want your um, application to process through the state school system, you need to have the working with children check for paid employees. Which is eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you got that? Yep, got that. And then what? Uh, then I um, applied online with the New South Wales Teachers Institute. Yeah. It's just an online application form and basically what they're wanting to do is assess your uh, credentials. And so it's just an online application. Your credentials that you had before you came to our course or what you've got here? Both. Okay. Yeah, and particularly for myself because I'm a pre-service teacher with um, a degree not in education, so I've got a science degree, so they need to see those credentials yeah. to see that they're adequate for what sure. they require. And then I also have to show academic transcripts or a summary of statement yeah. studies from here. Sure. Along with um, proof, of, proof of identity documents. And did you show your Pratt reports to Newswood? I don't think I did. I can't remember. So they didn't require that? No, I, no, they just needed the um, summary of studies. Right, okay. Yeah. And the summary of studies is what you get until you graduate, then you get the official transcript. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was, so you did that? Yeah, you did that. So that's an online application. Yeah. And, but you then need to have all your documentation certified by a JP. Okay. Because they want either the originals or certified copies. So that, they, that's posted in them? Yeah, that's posted into them. Yeah. And then once they've assessed your documents, they email you back with a um, yeah. certificate. And how long did that bit take for them? Uh, maybe two to three weeks. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a long process, but two to three weeks. And, and when did you start? When did I start? I probably started end of August, I think. Right. So the long process was actually just working out what I had to do. I was a bit confused about what I needed to do. So it was more of a process in terms of working out what I needed to do. Okay. So for example, I had my work in the children check, yeah. and then I went through the New South Wales Teachers Institute, and then I found out through the Department of Education that I needed to have a work in the children check that was paid. So I had to follow that up. And then I also yeah. had another problem in that my work in the children check was in one name, but most of my other documentation was in another name. Whoa, whoa. Complicated. It was complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was Newswit. Yep. And then DEC. Yep, then DEC. And again, that's um, most of that is an online process. Right. Um, there's a section where you can go in, and you actually automatically come to it if you want to book an interview. So you've got to actually present a whole of the documentation off it. 
the process has started by beginning to book an interview. When you click that, you go into another section and you either choose whether you're graduating, graduating, which is what I am, or whether you're, say, perhaps been teaching and had a break and you're coming back oh, okay. type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And so you select which part you want to go into. So I went into the graduate recruitment program yeah. and then there's a quite a series of online questions, I think there's something like 30, 35 questions that you need to complete as an online application form. So you do that, you send that off um, online and I booked also my interview at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, kind of in the middle of all that, they send you back an email saying that, you know, they've got your online application and you need to send them some supporting information like, for example, academic transcripts mm. and so forth. And is that where the PRAC reports come in? The PRAC reports come in with the interview. Oh, I see. Okay. So when you book an interview, they then come back to say that they've got your interview scheduled. Mm. They then send you a link um, to what they call a supporting documentation mm. page, and that's a three-page PDF that's almost a bit like a job application form, and yeah. it addresses some of the seven elements of teaching, and you actually need to... As in, in this thing? Yes, that's correct. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and so it's literally just three pages, very brief. They don't want you to add anything else to their supporting documents. They just want you to answer the questions very briefly. So um, you're so typing them in? No, handwrite them. Oh, you handwrite them in? Yeah. Because I, I pushed off the PDF. They do have a Word document, but I thought that that was potentially easy to then go over their page limit. Wow. So you, you did have the choice? of typing it or writing it? Yeah, well there's two different, there's either PDF or Word document. So with the Word document you would have been able to type it in. But I felt that that was very, that's a bit more cumbersome, I find. And there was a Word limit, you said? Um, they didn't want you to use any more than three pages. Okay. So it's not so much a Word limit, so if you write small you can fit a lot in. But they want you <laughs> to stick to their, to, their, to their blank spaces, they want you to stick to that. Oh, okay and then for the interview, so you fill that in yeah. and you have to take that along to the interview along with your proof of identity documents and your academic transcripts, your summary of studies for the current course yeah. and so forth. And you take so when did you interview? It was um, mid-September, mm -hmm. I think it was around about the 14th of September. And where did you go? Uh, Blacktown. So anyone in metropolitan Sydney goes to Blacktown. Okay. Uh, even anyone in Sydney goes to Blacktown? Yeah. That's my understanding. Oh, wow. I could be proven wrong, but that's what I was about to believe on. Okay. I read it online. Yeah. So tell me about the interview. It's a very straightforward process. I certainly had a very straightforward process. Um, you roll, roll up to the interview, you register that you're there. Um, they actually have a whole heap of interviews going on at the one time. And so the person who was interviewing me came maybe about 10 minutes before my scheduled time and asked for my supporting statement and any other documentation I had with me. Mm. Um, he took that off with him, read it through, and that's where the PRAC reports are mm. crucial, so we had a look at them as well. Mm. He obviously looked through all that, made sure it was all in order, and then he came back and got me maybe 10 to 15 minutes later. Mm. And then they've actually got an interview room set up with um, dividers, so there's a whole lot of interviews all happening at once. And could you hear the other interviews? You could hear talking, you couldn't really hear what was being said, but you could hear talking. Okay, so you were in sort of a little cubicle? Yeah, basically, yeah. Wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who, how many people interviewed you? I mean, just one. Oh, it was just one on one? Yeah. Oh, I imagined a panel. Well, and that's what I thought too. And they sort of arrayed against them? Yes. No? <laughs> that was one on one. Just behind a desk, across a desk? Yeah, literally, yes. Yeah. So it was all very non confrontational. Okay. It was very easy. And how long did it last? Maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Certainly, it didn't seem long, so maybe half an hour. And um, what was the, was it a structure to the interview? It was a very structured interview. The interviewer had literally um, two or three A4 sheets of paper, um, landscape, and it was almost like a table for the booklet coming out of the, where they described the seven elements. Yeah. And there was spaces under each question, so it was a very structured interview in terms of he addressed each standard one by one. And when you said elements, is that what it said? Elements? Oh, I can't remember. I didn't see his oh, paper. Because that, that sounds like the language of the New South Wales system where the standards is the national. I think they've flipped the words around. Yeah, could have. 
So you just use the word elements intuitively? Yes. <laughs> and intuitively. What, whatever it is you want. Yeah, so I don't know what, I couldn't see the paper. I mean, I could see yeah. the paper, but I had no idea what it said. And so they were asking you questions about how you manage disruptive kids? or uh, The questions I had weren't that specific. Like, if you go back to the sessions where in the other day, one of the students like indicated his questions were quite specific. Mine were much broader, and it was things like, for example, how would you teach a unit of work, or how would you plan for a unit of work? Right. And he did address um, multicultural students and non-English speaking mm. students, but there was no real specific questions. Mm. Okay. And you felt it went okay? Yeah, I thought it went very good. Um, it got off onto a really good note because um, I was lucky in terms of that my prac experiences were all quite positive mm. and you'd give me a very good report. Mm, and you. so he'd actually, before we even went in there, he actually kind of coined a couple of phrases and said, well, they say this, this and this. That's sure. really good. Yeah. So for me, it was a, went off to a very positive yeah, note yeah. straight away. Yeah. So you came out of that and then what was the feedback after, after the interview? Um, he basically at the interview, he said, that um, he was very happy with how it went, he was happy with how I performed and felt that I would make a good teacher. And he said that it would be potentially up to two or three weeks um, before I received any notification in the mail. Mm. Um, but he said it really depended on how busy the mm. people who made all the paperwork happen yeah. were. And how long did it take? Uh, it took about a week. Okay. And in fact, the only problem I actually had was that my working children check was in my maiden name and everything else in my married name. So once I sorted that out, yeah. it was a couple of days. So now you've got the number. Yes, got the number. Which, which is called the provisional accreditation. Yeah, I've got provisional accreditation. Which means that as of now you can... Casual teach. Casual teach. Yes. And have you done any casual teaching yet? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> well, look, thank you, Rachel. That is a fantastic... Is there anything else we've not covered? Oh, I don't think so. I think that was it. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that.